Howdy, howdy, howdy. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. It's uh, Joe Smooth. First, I just want to thank you for choosing me uh, for this task. Now, it seems like you want to get into digital and online marketing, which is awesome. And I, the re I'm only making this video. I've never made a video that I'm about to make right now for anybody. But, you know, I just want to see you succeed. So check this out. If you're going to be doing digital marketing, you're going to have to be doing stuff like this that I'm doing now for you, right? You're going to have to be doing this for other people. So your niche is digital marketing. You say you already have some of these keywords. I'm not really sure, but I can tell you what you are ranking for. So these are some of the tools that you're going to need. Um, I don't really use SMrush too much, but um, when I'm looking for backlinks, backlinks is, of course, like the fuel that ranks websites, right? I use Majestic. Right now, I'm going to use Ahrefs. And then for some of your keywords, I use SpyFu, and then I use Ahrefs. SpyFu, you can, like, see the competitors, like, especially people running ads. You can see what they're spending on ads and all that jazz. So right now, we're going to go into Ahrefs. And Ahrefs like their own people have like training on keywords it's all on youtube right so we're going to pull this up now and it's going to show every keyword that you really organically rank for okay i'm gonna come over here to the organic keywords i don't really mess with that 2.0 stuff but uh we'll come over here so really these are the keywords that you are ranking for you're ranking for player unknown gifts and anyone we can even click on this and see what that says So it's this one says you're not really ranking for any keywords, okay? So but you are currently ranking for these. Look, oh shit. These are the keywords. Uh I don't know if these are really on your website or not, but and then it shows like the page that these keywords are being picked up on. Okay. Now the one thing I would say you're missing is your service pages okay i would say that's the that's the one thing you're really missing i mean you have like your blog you have your work okay but you really don't got any uh service pages right which is what's going to help you rank only well, reason i'm showing you this because i myself do digital marketing this is my website if you look for like lead generation, Fort Worth. Now I'm rebuilding this website, by the way. Um, it's a slow pop process. I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of uh, pages behind the scene, like 600. So like you see, like you got the, the services, right? And you want to break down every service that you want to offer. You want to have a separate page for that. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm just showing you this because everybody eats, you know what I'm saying? There's so much money out here. Everyone can get some. All right. So look. Shit, is the home page? Yeah, it's the home page. So you see like all the services. I'm just listing them all right here on the home page. You know, and then you can click on the other pages. It'll take you. So every there's going to be a whole a whole page for every service. You know what I'm saying? So I think that'd be something in and, and doing that is going to make you more authoritative, right? It's going to make you a lot more authoritative. Uh, this is my call with my little widget. Like my thing is about conversions. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a bunch of lead gen properties. Like I'll build websites in uh, other cities for different niches, rank those websites, start getting calls. Like this will be like a click the call. This will take you to the quote form. This will just, this is just three more ways to get in contact with somebody, you know what I'm saying? They can schedule a call, all that jazz. So it's all about conversions as well, okay? So for your keywords, this is what we're gonna do. To, I'm probably not gonna do that whole process right here in this video, but I'm going to give you your keywords, right? And when it comes to keywords, back in the day, I started doing this, what, in 2013? Like I could just stuff a bunch of keywords on a page and like it would start rank that page would start ranking, right? But you can't do that now. So let's say you have however many words of content right here. Okay. 
you want like less than two percent of that like let's just say this is what like 500 words you probably want like no more than two or three keywords embedded in this content and then for the keywords you're going to make sure that word is bolded you're going to bold that keyword okay and then you're going to make sure that you interlink all your pages so on your home page you want to make sure your home page links to every remember you're going to be building more pages like service pages so like your like your about me page there's going to be a, a word let's just say uh Pick a keyword on here or just creativity or something like that. This key, if I were to click on that, it looks normal, but if I were to click on it, it would take me back to your home page. You know what I'm saying? That's the interlinking. That's very important, especially whenever you're doing backlinks. So when we're doing backlinks, we're gonna we're not gonna be backlinking to this URL. We're gonna be you want to make sure you backlink to this URL because this whole URL is gonna get the juice. You can either give juice to this entire URL or to a portion of this URL, right? You wanna give juice to the uh, the whole URL. So whenever you're doing backlinks, add the www, right? And then you're gonna have your service pages. Let's just say like, uh, uh, shit, so it's gonna say like social media, right? So this is gonna be your social media page or a service, okay? You want on your home page, you're gonna have a link that links to that social media page. And whenever you're doing backlinks to your main thing, it's gonna pass juice onto this URL. So that page starts ranking as well. Stuff like that, right? But uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh start getting your keywords for you. We live in Texas, so let's we'll just say like digital marketing. Who's our people? Who's who's advertising? These people are advertising. These people are ranking. So we got Blackhawk, Work, something, and Thrive. Thrive is up here in Fort Worth too. So Blackhawk right here, Thrive, and some other guys. So what this means is these top three, these these top dogs right here, all right, you know, they're they're ranking down here, which means it's it's pretty competitive, right? But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take these guys. Uh, these are people advertising in uh, Fiverr and this. We're gonna take their URL. We're gonna go to SpyFu. Put their URL in here. This is really stuff like I shouldn't be showing you, but like I think you need to know this if, if you're gonna be doing this. Okay, so look, check this out. They're ranking for uh, 1,600 words, and they're paying for 1,600 words. We're gonna look at what they are uh, paying, uh, ranking for. Crap, let's say like anything for like digital. Digital marketing panel, Excalibur digital marketing, that's not even their stuff. They're trying to rank for other, they're ranking for other people's names, right? And then we can go over to their uh, pay per click keywords. I want to see like the highest volume keywords that they're paying for. Peer point, whatever that is. PR agencies. That all this stuff looks kind of useless to me. I wouldn't. Facebook marketing partners, maybe that one, right? How to start a marketing company, digital marketing Dallas, stuff like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going through some of these cities and some of these uh, different agencies and, and start taking their best keywords, especially the ones they're paying for. Because when you can start ranking for the words that they're spending money on in ads, you're going to rank, start ranking organically for it, right? And when I give you these keywords, yeah, of course, you're gonna start making, you can you can do a couple things with it. Where's your website? You can create like a, a blog page for that keyword. Let's just say it's like a, just whatever keyword, right? You can make that the title and then make that the subject of that keyword. And then, you know, frequently write, build content around there. 
you could just uh, with your services, you can make whole service pages on that keyword. Um, or just like I was talking about earlier, embedding that into your content. So there's a few different things you can do.